Six Flags Great America reopened today less than 24 hours after a shooting sent park visitors hiding for cover. Two people were shot, another person hurt in the parking lot of the amusement park around 8 o'clock last night. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman spoke with one teenage boy who was inside the park. He uses instincts to keep himself and his friends safe. Well, Aldrina, this, those teenagers say this was a night they will not soon forget. Police say this shooting was targeted, but this afternoon, no one is in custody. And less than 24 hours later, one South Suburban couple says they are just grateful their son made it home okay. We heard gunshots. We're hiding. It's the call no parent wants to get. Tina and Brian Donda had dropped off their son Charlie and his two friends at the park in the afternoon. It was supposed to be an end of summer adventure and then gunshots. I was just thinking they were fireworks and then we just saw everyone running, so we ran. They hopped a fence and hid inside the park, channeling their active shooter training from school. The teens said they knew they had to stay calm and find a place to take cover. The grass was about three feet tall, so we there was a giant hill, and then we ran down on the tracks, and then we found a family that was super nice, and we hid with them. I always think about that situation like all the time. Anytime I go somewhere, I always think of like the worst thing that could possibly happen. Video circulating on social media shows other park goers crouched down and hiding where they'd been in line. Police said a white sedan entered the parking lot and drove to the front entrance. More than one person got out of the car and started shooting, hitting at least two people before taking off. For Tina, who was on the phone waiting for the word from her son, all she could think about was this. Please let him come home. Yeah, this shooting bringing up questions of security here at the park. There are metal detectors as you enter, but the public parking lot where this shooting happened is less secure. Coming up at 6, the mayor here in Gurney and a security expert weigh in on what possible changes could be made here moving forward. We're live in Gurney. Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. A scary situation, Marissa. Thank you for those updates.